many people I know have been brought up with the idea of the church as the temple. I prefer the idea of the church as a tent. I'm Nick Stanion, Synod Evangelist, and in almost 30 years of ministry, I've learned something very important. And that is that our buildings can be incredibly useful tools for our mission, but often they become something else. You get me low, but I'm not dysfunctional. Stare down one wall, but I'm three dimensional. You can never crush me from inside. Out. Sometimes our modern buildings can prevent us from being that tent. They become a burden around our necks, straining our resources. And sometimes they become the focus or even the actual mission of the church itself. We're going now to St John's in Stone, where they've actually taken the brave decision to move out of their old building. Leaving our church building in St John's was heartbreaking for me. I started the coffee morning about eight years ago and we had it in the hall. I had use of the building for girl guiding, for big events. In the old building we had prayer lunches for first responders, for cancer research. Well the building had been there 130 years. A wonderful building to stand, to speak, do flowers, bring people in from our community into our building. So to a lot of people it was a very important part of their lives. And I miss it dreadfully. And then suddenly... Uh, we had hoped that we'd be able to modify the inside. We had problems with the roof. The United Reformed Church, who took its advice from a body connected to the Victorian Society, brought them into the discussions. And uh, their key word was no. The church hall was closed because there was asbestos in the roof and it was dangerous. I did say to them that our business was God's business and not creating a Victorian museum. We needed to get out of the building because it was taking all of our energy and thought when really what we wanted to do was be out of the community doing mission. God eventually led us out over the bridge into the community. The reason we're here worshipping in a school is because I believe God had to move that congregation of St John's out of the old building in Granville Terrace where they were stuck and into a place where they could practice mission. But like anything else in life that breaks your heart, it has strengthened all our fellowship. The life of St John's has always been undergirded by prayer. I've only been in the area three weeks. I'm new to St John's as well. But we are a faith community and faith has shone through. I just feel this sense of excitement and anticipation that something new, new is coming and I just feel the Lord's included me in it. I do now know it was the right decision because every meeting was talking about money raised. It was a sign that something was we needed to move. One year I raised £7,000 in that year that went to pay an architect that let us down. We knew what the drawbacks were and we wanted to get out of there and have the new adventure of finding somewhere else. Everyone feels very important and involved. So we now don't talk, you know, well, how are we going to keep the building going? It's so welcoming. So that has been cathartic. We had to find somewhere else to have our ladies' meetings. We weren't sure how we would operate. This is where St John's is currently worshipping. And because we moved there, um, we've had no people who live there 
who have not, had nothing to do with the church before, coming down to our meetings. We had to learn how to set up things ready for worship. People were able, in small groups, um, away from uh, church buildings, to uh, discuss their anxieties. So we got together and decided that we would make these teams. So we have learned to downsize a little, knowing that they would be supported by the groups that they were in. We have learnt and we believe the lesson from God is that we can be a church anywhere. That would never have happened had we stayed in Granville Terrace. If St John's can do it, the good news is that you can do it too.